The filament fuser block. It's a partially 3D printed tool for fusing together uh, two different colors, basically two different ends of filament, it doesn't matter what color it is, as long as it's the same material. Uh, in this case I have uh, ABS here, I'm going to fuse right in front of you for an example. Uh, and then these are some stuff I've already printed today out of uh, PLA. So there's a big owl and then there's a, a, a two-piece self-watering planter. It's pretty cool. Uh, so to show you, so what I've got here is my uh, pair of scissors. What is the hell is this thing? I got an AccuCut razor scissors. It's just to cut the ends of the filament, which is convenient. Uh, and then the complete the complete filament fuser block kit. It's already warmed up. Uh, let me show you the screen here. So it's already set to 240 degrees Celsius, and it's just been kind of sitting there. But I, it's controlled with the same software I used to run my printer. So it's this is Repetier Host. Uh, it is this provides the uh, the power and uh, the control for the fan. And I've got it set to the extruder, but that's what's heating the block. So you can precisely control the temperature. Okay, so get a little bit closer view here of the block itself. The block is made of aluminum. It's got, uh, see it's just a little, a little bit dirty right now, but uh, it's got grooves in it for 3 millimeter and 1.75 millimeter filament. It's got a hole in the top with some, I had some PLA sitting in there. Uh, to kind of show you that it's hot uh, right now and then it's got a heat sink before it mounts to the PLA you know to the PLA body so it doesn't melt the body but then the fan back there that's keeping this cool is also blowing my fingers here it's what I'm going to use to cool the filament after I bond it uh, so other things here this little thing sticking out is to hold obviously to hold spools uh, you can put an entire uh, an entire plastic spool like that if you want on there that's kind of helpful and then it's clamped to my table right now too so I can't lose control of the heated block there's that and then what else is there so this this is the tool that's stored in the guard it's used for cleaning out the grooves just like that and it sits back in the guard and you close it when you're not using it so you don't good accidentally lean over the tool. Using this thing properly to make a good bond. I've got ABS filament, 3 millimeter. It's already warmed up to 240 degrees C, which is the same temperature I uh, extrude at. So here's the process. It's push for two seconds. So one, two, push, slide, 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 and cool. And then you can kind of clean it up with your fingers a little bit too. Just like that. But little notches right there so it holds it in the path of the fan and this step takes the longest. You kind of let it sit and cool for as long as, as long as you think it takes. But. Okay, now I'm going to make an entire multicolor roll. I've got an empty uh, spool holder right here. Put it on the thing. Uh, I got it all cut into like a couple feet strands. Doesn't really matter. Let's see, and you push it through and then fold it over just like push it through and fold it over just like it is whenever you order filament. And you wrap it up. And then uh, make sure you get your little slinky orientation 
right for the next one. Just like that. We do our little technique. Push one, two, push, slide, 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 and cool. Cool with a pinch, maybe. And we get our next one ready. I'm just picking them at random here. All ABS filament, all just about that long. <clears throat> just cuz. Let's see. Let me wrap it on and keep going. See if this would be a good, good time for a time lapse.